So guys, Wiki can never hide his real color. Wiki can never hide his real personality. Take a look at when Wiki asked the permanent sex in Abuja to come bow before Tinubu for the appointment he gave to them as if Tinubu is the one paying them from his pocket directly. These are taxpayers' money that they used to pay these people. But come and see, Wiki is asking them to come worship Tinubu, to come bow before Tinubu for their appointment. Nigerians, this is why this country is sinking. So these people have been told to be doing eye service, you know. That is just what Wiki is telling them. They should be doing eye service for the fact that it is Tinubu that gave them this appointment. They must bow and worship anything that has to do with Tinubu. And you know what that applies to when it comes to election season. Nigerians, this country is finished. Take a look at this. Well, the minister of the federal capital territory, Yesom Wiki, during the commissioning of the Northern Parkway, named after Wole Shoinka, caused a frenzy after he ordered permanent secretaries to bow before President Bola Ahmed Tinubu in appreciation of their appointments. Let's take a look. Today, most of them have never dreamt in their life that they would ever get to the peak of their career. That is very, very important. Not just the infrastructure every day. So if you permit me, I don't know those beneficiaries, the permanent secretaries, I don't know where they are here. Come out. Sorry, you come out. Come out. You are the beneficiary. Yeah, come out. You are supposed to be the agent of any home. Come out. Come out. Uh -huh. Both women, both men, everyone. First year and take a bow before Mr. President, uh, the lucky ones. Your Excellency, these are the first set of permanent secretaries that you made. Head of service, are you not the permanent secretary? And that is their head of service. Your Excellency, these are the technical team now that we have. So I want to sincerely thank you. Now, most of them have been going to churches and mosques. They have been praying now that God should help them to be head of service, but it was not there before. For them to be head of service, it was not available, but now you have made it uh, available. Well, all right, let me take this tweet. This is from Sport Doctor, who wrote, with the way Wike is telling permanent secretaries to bow down to Tinubu, you would think whatever promotion or bonus they were paid was from Tinubu's pocket, but that's taxpayers' money, oh, I, oh, I mean, look at that. Mess. Is, That's what I call it. Shocking. A complete charade. A, it is a complete mess. It's a complete charade. And I believe that this is why we continue to demean yes. our public service and make them docile and keep quiet and almost push them into feeling as if they are enslaved by the people and not have the right to speak up for their rights. I hope there was at least one permanent secretary who refused to stand up mm -hmm. to take that bow that yeah. Minister Wiki asked them to do. Do you know what it means to be a permanent secretary yeah. in Nigeria? Do you know the ranks that you have to climb? More than a minister who's basic the, the minimum level to be a minister is SSE of course at the, at the, the president can decide to choose more qualified but you go through tests yeah. levels PhD holders and you demeaning them in, in this way All because right. of Dr. Uh, Abati yeah. 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 nobody, nobody has done those spam sex yes. in favor mm -hmm. these are career officers who rose to the very top but I think uh, Minister Wiki didn't do well asking them to bow and ah, that was not good enough now uh, the president is a Yoruba man. He should have asked the men to prostrate <laughs> and the women to kneel down. That next time he wants to do this kind of thing, the men should prostrate, the women should kneel down. Yeah, absolutely. That would be more appropriate. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Well, all right. I wish you had more time. I wanted us to talk about Wale Shoinka's uh, naming as well, but I guess we'll do that another time. Well. So, guys, also Wale Shoinka was being rewarded for the role he has been playing in Tinubu's administration, what role, if not the role of attacking obedience who are supporting Peter Obi and telling the world that Peter Obi is not fit to be Nigeria's leader. Now, he has been exalted. <laughs> Social media was awash with reactions on Tuesday after President Bola Ahmed Tinubu named the just inaugurated Northern Parkway in the federal capital territory as the Wale Shoinka Highway. The professor, who is the first African to win the Nobel Literature Prize, is a close ally of the president. The 
special advisor to the president on information and strategy, Bayon Onuga, in a post on X, said that the FCT minister, Yesom Wiki, recommended the road to be named after the Nobel laureate to honor his outstanding contributions to literature and his role in elevating Nigeria's global standing. Let me say here that your momentous and recommendation to name this road as Polishuiga way is well received. He's our foremost playwright, novelist, Nobel Prize winner, who has brought Nigeria him a pride of international acclaim. Thank you for thinking that way. We all accept your recommendation on behalf of the people and Federal Republic of Nigeria. Well, all right, there are some reactions from that, but because of time, will the Senate condemn the disruptions from the strike action stating that the decision of organized labor to shut down the national greed amounted to economic sabotage. Shutting down national greed could amount to economic sabotage. Stopping children from taking work means that you have set those children back by one year. So there are so many things involved in what is going on. So my personal opinion will be that we thank them for agreeing to go back to the negotiation table. We urge the federal government to expedite action on negotiations in order to arrive at something that is uh, acceptable, at least acceptable to both parties or uh, something that is reasonably acceptable to both parties. And then immediately thereafter, since the last minimum wage has expired, as an act of parliament, they should immediately send us an executive bill for us to commence work. Well, all right. Nigerians have reacted to Akpavio's comment. I mean, you know, I believe I saw uh, something from the senior advocate of Nigeria, Femi Falana, who actually said, you know, the uh, National Assembly should quickly sign that new uh, minimum wage or pass it as quickly as they sign the national anthem. But you know, I think one of the things that uh, Nigerians took away from this comment from Akpabi was the fact that he talked about NLC, you know, um, shutting down the national greed, saying that it, you know, it amounted to economic sabotage. Let me take this uh, tweet from Anthony who wrote, Nigerians have a better definition for economic sabotage. It's called budget padding. By the National Assembly, there is no worse economic sabotage than budget padding and contract padding by the various government ministries, departments, and agencies, which is why a living wage is an issue. Well, I mean, yesterday, Ayo, yeah. we went through the <laughs> breakdown of yes, what these, uh, our senators, and, and we talked about the fact that, you know, people were saying, oh, do you have that pulled up? Yeah, we talked about the fact that uh, that uh, lady, Betty, from the health union said, you know, these guys should be put on mm -hmm. minimum wage. But, you know, I feel so appalled, really, for the fact that at this point, there, yeah, there you go. At this point, the minister of finance was charged by President Tinubu to deliver what the breakdown would be at this critical hour, uh, Ayo. What do you make of that? Well, I, I think beyond um, economic sabotage being the fact that there's budget padding is also the amount of money that the senators are earning and that he hasn't responded to that. I, I would have expected that he would react to calls by Nigeria saying that the cost of governance, especially with regards to how much money senators take home monthly, which is close to 30 million naira, is sabotaging the economy. It is, it is, it is draining us. It is drawing blood from the economy. So maybe that's a good starting point from him, rather than blaming Labour for embarking on what is their, um, their right constitutionally to protest and to express displeasure at the way in which the government hasn't shown seriousness in the new minimum wage. I think another person, um, um, group of people he should be addressing mm -hmm. with regards to economic sabotage, we should not 
have labor as a quick target. The federal government themselves who didn't take action when they knew that the minimum wage as the old one would expire in April and begin negotiations early, that's, that's, that's economic sabotage on their regard. Mm -hmm. all, all that's happened is not, it's labor reacting to government's non-reaction. So let's get it clear. Let's not make it seem as if labor is being insensitive and all that. They are representing the displeasure of the Nigerian people. And the only way they could do it was to hold the economy to ransom. And, and we saw that there was results. The yeah. president now has called the minister of finance. Yeah, it was, it, almost immediately they responded and signed an agreement that they would look into it, have meetings every day. Why didn't they have meetings every day in May? Why didn't they have meetings every day in April? Well, you Why know, did you wait for I, this? Nigerians have reacted to Labour's decision to suspend the industrial action. The president of the Trade Union Congress, Festa Sosifo, who was on our nightly news program, Newsnight, said that Labour never wanted to go on strike, but were forced to, and that the union was able to achieve a commitment from the government for an increase in the 60,000 Naira proposal and a week for execution. Now, let me take a, a reaction from Agbo, who wrote, and this is not how things are done. If you want the government to take this whole thing seriously, you should keep the strike ongoing until the whole issue is rectified, especially now that you have the support of the masses. When you relax the strike action, the government will relax and you will come up with another strike. How do you think the people will Feel. I mean, I think that we did agree that this strike action was effective. Rufai, I feel like you have something that you wanted to read out. Were you pulling up a, a number that you wanted yeah, to read yeah, out? Yeah, I have a couple of things. I mean, if you... But after this, so that yeah. we, we're, we're so Okay, you so. want me to take another tweet? This yeah. is another reaction from another Nigerian. This person wrote, so you guys think you can use the workers, what is this? Kalu Kalu, 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 Kalu machine. Kalu, what does that mean? Machine. Turn on and turn off. So it's a slot machine. Right. Yeah. Uh, strike that you started already. Rather than continue until your goal is met, you guys said you are giving one week to allow the conclusion of negotiations. So what happens after one week and no agreement is reached? You call another strike? then you would have lost relevance. Well, uh, Kingsley Morgalu actually also responded to this whole conversation. He wrote, uh, it is truly a shame that Nigeria appears unable to afford a minimum wage of 75 to 100,000 Naira a month, given the rate of inflation and the exchange rate. This is because our government spends billions on all the wrong things, either pandering to vested interests, like funding religious pilgrimages or sustaining the lifestyle of politicians with wasteful cost of governance to which it attracts political priority. The common man comes last for Nigeria's leaders despite their empty rhetoric. I do not support the labor demand for a 400,000 Naira minimum wage, which is unsustainable and will, in addition, be heavily inflationary. But I think if we seriously recalibrate our priorities, even the private sector can pay 75,000 minimum wage. A minimum wage is something to be paid by both public and private sector employers. Given the state of Nigeria's economy and its low productivity at this time, we must achieve a balance between what is practically possible for both sectors. 60,000 Naira is simply not good enough it ought to be at least 75,000 to 100,000 Naira. I think Festus Osifo also stated that it's not like they are asking for the 495,000 Naira. They are willing to negotiate. Your thoughts? No, but I think Libra has shown good faith. Mm -hmm. I mean, we kept on banging at Labour when they were talking about six fifteen thousand. We said it was in good faith. Mm -hmm. they, they trickled out to four ninety five, and definitely they will go down. We've always argued that a better average they'll be able to account for inflation not going to haywire is about you know a hundred to two hundred thousand mark. But probably they'll haggle and get to the hundred thousand mark thereabout. But what was pertinent was I was reading the economic plan, the ASAP plan that was recently yes. released, and it right. talked about the fact that. The currency depreciation was about 95% or even more in some cases. The pass on cost was to a lot of businesses, and that's why you see businesses are struggling. In all of this, the real economic saboteurs, which are the lawmakers that got extra money to buy cars during the supplementary budget passed, and I just hope, President Tinubu, please, I beg you, when you are going to pass the supplementary budget, it should not be for frivolous activities that will concern these lawmakers. For the love of mercy, we beg and the yachts that we're talking about supplementary budget. 
I just hope this same lawmakers that their money is increased from about, I think it was 150 billion thereabout to about 300 and something billion. I think what they should do is that if they can, the National Assembly want to claim they love this country, they should cut that 300 and something billion to 150 billion. They should take that 150 billion to have a special single digit fund for one, small businesses. Secondly, and they take another 50 billion for big businesses. And they take another 50 billion to be able to invest in input for agriculture. So, guys, you have seen it for yourself that these people, they don't mean well for Nigerians. They don't mean well. So, we all know that Tinobu told the wiki that he's not in charge of, you know, the revenues in uh, coming in in Abuja. Meaning that, hey, Mr. Man, you can do whatever you like. So, he he's not returning back to the Federation account like it's supposed to be. So, wiki is in charge and... That is why you can see how he's like flaying up and displaying uh, high respect for Tinubu because he feels honored by the position he has given to him. And that tells you what awaits 2027, you know, the election coming up in 2027. These people want to do everything to frustrate Nigeria. So just get ready because this time we must get it right.